we have a specific purpose for coming this side. Follow me. My parents are not supposed to know about this. My boyfriend at the time used to come around this side, walk his way down here and do like this. I contracted HIV on my first sexual encounter. I thought this was the guy that I was waiting for. When you get diagnosed as an HIV positive person, it's one of the most scary aspects of your life. The only thing that is killing people is the stigma. You said I'm HIV positive and everyone outside there is going to see that I've got AIDS. I was not taking care of myself. I was like waiting for death. I was drinking myself to the bottom of the bottle every night. If you are HIV positive and you don't accept it within yourself, you're going to die. The message I like to give to people that live with HIV is it's not a death sentence. When you start treatment, you can live a long and healthy life up until 70, if you so wish. You can be HIV positive and you, you can be HIV positive and successful in what you do. If you are HIV positive, there is a lot that you can do. I'm not going to die tomorrow. I'm not going to die now. I'm gay and I'm proud to be a lesbian. I wanted an environment where I could have a space to actually talk about me living with HIV. Most of the people are in closet. Mm -hmm. They are not out because of cultural beliefs and religious beliefs. I'm here to support the water cause. She's my friend. I understand wow. her. They've been part of my uh, journey all this time. HIV is not their identity. They are the captains of their own ships. I've got this this power within me, this positive power within me. Helam is everything that I'm living for. I'm making a commitment to me and to Elam to be there for her 21st birthday.